What's up guys? I thought I'd do a little tutorial today on reed pens. So I bought this reed pen at Blick Art Materials uh, and it looked pretty cool when I first saw it. I thought I'd just buy it and give it a try because, well, why not? It's art. So I decided today I would draw something with it just to break it in and see what it's really like to use. So what I'm going to be using today is waterproof India ink. You can use any type of liquid ink. You can even use watercolor, liquid watercolor or alcohol inks. Uh, but today I'm using waterproof uh, India ink. It is by Lick Art Materials. So I'm gonna start by making, I'm drawing from a reference you can't really see right now, but gonna start by making some strokes and dipping in the ink seeing you know what what really what kind of lines this thing gives this is my first time drawing with a reed pen by the way so I don't really know what to expect just dipping in the ink again so I'm drawing some random strokes for the inner part of the flower This kind of gives a really awesome uneven line. You can see right here it's giving some dry strokes. Um, overall really unpredictable as far as stroke. See it comes out really really thick and then really thin at the end. But it's not like a traditional dip pen. It's sort of like an even line but it's uneven and wavy. see it had a big blob there sort of drawing some random just kind of squarish and loose strokes for the side petals to the top right side not really sure how they look sometimes they look really really jumbled up and random and just sort of flowing each way but I figure sometimes you can have an artistic license and just sort of draw scribble if you can't figure out what it is. Drawing some more petals underneath. It's really important to dip this pen in once in a good while because it will run dry but not as fast as a regular metal dip pen I'm finding out. It's really fluid ink and uh, for some reason the bamboo flows the liquid really really nice sort of drawing some leaves here too for the rose not really too accurate just sort of making it a sketch sort of sketchy look and draw the little veins coming out of the leaves center Just sort of making these lines random, not really copying for a reference. So I drew a little bit more and now I am practicing on some hatching on the inner side of the leaves. Trying to make the hatching as uneven as possible because there's never really straight lines in a flower. You can see I kind of got a little bit of them uh, almost the same length along one of the top petals and I decided through the drawing, nope, I'm not going to do that anymore. And just making the video a little bit faster for a while, you can kind of see what I'm doing. So there it goes, the reed pen. Um, not really. Um, there's a little bit of focus there, but a uh, very cool thing to use. Um, I would recommend using a smooth paper, uh, maybe a rough paper if you're looking for a texture. But this thing is really neat, guys. I'm telling you, you want to go check it out. Uh, go to Blick Art Materials or order one from Amazon or check out Jerry's Artorama or just go to any place. I'm not affiliated with any of those uh, companies, but those are places you can find one of these. 
or if you have some bamboo, you can make one yourself with a little knife. And just letting you know too, I used uh, Black Cat Waterproof India Ink from Blick Art Materials. Uh, you can kind of see the logo here. It's got a black cat on it. Really cool. Um, this stuff is some really good ink and it works really well with uh, the reed pen and it's waterproof so it won't wash off. So thank you for watching my video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, be sure to be on the lookout for the next one. Bye bye.